There's these posters all around the subways now that say, uh, don't be ashamed you are using. Be empowered that you are using safely. Could you imagine? Remember the D.A.R.E. program? Drug Awareness Resistance Education? The police would come in the classroom and tell you about drugs. Remember that? You ever wonder where that program went? Here it is. They, they've rebranded it. Yeah, it's no longer drug awareness resistance education. Now it's drugs are really empowering. <laughs> Don't you miss McGruff the crime dog? Yeah, now the kid's got Florence the fentanyl pusher. Great, Florence. You're really driving the message home. Great job. Don't be ashamed. Being ashamed of something is usually what gets people to recognize they have a problem and potentially stop. But Florence says, nah, I don't feel that way. Be proud. Be proud instead. <laughs> and the New York City government is fine with this. They endorse it. So how are they shocked when people on the outside see this and deem these elected officials incompetent? It's like they said to themselves, well, we're never going to convince people to stop doing drugs, so I guess we could at least try to convince them to do it safely. It, I mean, it's almost like they've given up. It, it's like they threw in a towel. Who's in these board meetings? Nobody raises their hands and says, uh, this sounds wrong, or what about this? Is, is there none of that? Is everybody scared to ask questions or challenge anything? I mean, it's just, I don't get it, man. Everything's backwards. Here's another example, uh, Gatorade. <laughs> Look at this. Yeah, a Gatorade health ad. Yeah, Gatorade, the, the company that sells bottles of sugar. Yeah, they're doing health campaigns now. Yeah, their health campaigns consist of uh, an obese woman doing a handstand with the word healthy as the headline. It's incredible. Gatorade fit. What's next? Uh, Twinkies fit? Twix fit. I'm telling you, stupid people have taken over.